It's the great Southern Derby in Super Rugby, the Crusaders and the Highlanders. And tonight, a positive result is vital for both teams. Tenakoto Katoa, Salofa, Maluelele, Bulla, and welcome to Forsyth Bay Stadium in Dunedin. Well, the crowd is here, and the championship table doesn't make great reading for either team. Highlanders in mid-table with four wins, the Crusaders near the bottom with just two wins. Good evening, everybody. Welcome. No might, Heidi might. The Southern Showdown full of history and robbery. Now Fakatawa works it off to the skipper, Ethan de Groot. Ball's there again. A little inside pass, clever. Beautiful. Here is the Ewe. Bounces out of one. Offloads it nicely. Push back. And a real opportunity now. Oh, it's been Advantage. spilled. Red offside. By Dunshay, but yes. offside play. And that was pretty promising from the Highlanders early on. Now let's see what they're going to do. This young man slots it over for another three. Easily guided through. So the first points are on the board. The penalty goal kicked by Cam Miller. And the Highlanders strike first here in Dunedin. Good listen, push back. Now Hotham works it away. Here's Taylor again, really injecting himself into this game. It's been knocked on. So, well, he said it was a knock on, but an actual fact. Talia heading for the line and over the line. Going to have to check it, I think. But it might have come off the head. And it is off the head. It's gone directly off the face of the melon and into the arms of Talia. And away he goes. Talia, he's been one of the best for the Hollanders this season. The flying mullet. Well, it was in full flight there. And he finished beautifully. Taylor's line-out throw then for the Crusaders. Deep over the back. Plan move. Went to Grace. He got it off the Hotha. Powerful run here by Noah. But he's taken it up to the five metre line, and also the Crusaders have a penalty. And this could be a yellow. No clear release. So that's on for Lau Fakatawa. No clear release. He's considered it to be a professional foul in a try scoring situation for the Crusaders because they were completely shattered. And now the Crusaders will try and push the Hunters back, and there's going to be another penalty. A lifting of the leg, and away goes Taylor. Full of beans early on. Now Hotham gets it away. Haveli and Sebu Reese scores the Crusaders' opening try of the game. All the experience of Cody Taylor. Watch Haveli. He's got the depth, width of the pass. Yeah, Sebu Reese he was always going to score from there. The Crusaders bounce back very quickly. Now to Groot. That's the 22. And they've got the penalty. Now they get it wide to try scorer. Talia. He's looking very lively. Fires it back in field. But playing under a penalty advantage. Pretty much straight out in front here. For Cam Miller. And through it goes. And the Highlanders, a six-point advantage. Advantage they have. Now Leah Willey, away for Hamili. Now McNichol goes wide. Grace, Taylor. Five metres short, Cody Taylor. Now here's Grace diving for the corner. And he might have got it too. Nice, Shorty. They'll have to check it. So it was Levi O'Moore who popped it up. That's now. some offload, isn't it? Okay. Well, Get on the line. Screen. No try. I was surprised they didn't go back earlier, to be honest, Marshy. Yeah, absolutely, I agree. Leo Willie brings it under control. And now the Crusaders with no hope of Away for Hannah, turns it back inside. I know, beautiful. Here's McNichol now. Who, who's he got with him? He's got Hotham! Tries to offload. Oh, I think he knocked it on, did he? Off the foot. Off the foot. Off the foot, try. 
So the try is scored by Dallas McLeod. Oh, and that was special. It really was. Premeditated move. Keep an eye on Olmua. He comes back off the cut from Hannah, back on the inside to McNichol. Finds Hotham on the inside, and just at the 11th hour, he gets it out the back door. And McLeod does really well to keep his hand out of play and comes off the bootlaces to be able to score a sensational try. Brilliant move from the Crusaders, wasn't it? And as you said, Marshy, a premeditated move. Great soccer skills. Dallas McLeod to finish. Crusaders have a man down in back play. McLeod. This is cleared away by Bakataba. Penalty coming the way of the Highlanders against Helen Grace. Now Holland. Bakataba sees a gap and off he goes. Oh. Fires a pass away and Ken Miller gets the try. Boy, this is some game. It certainly is. Offside again down here. They talk about make a statement and amends for being in the naughty chair. Falau Fakatava comes straight back on and a little piece of brilliance to finish off what was a well-constructed move. He just flicks it out the back door, rolls the wrist around it. And Miller looking to convert his own try. And he will do. Tava Tava Nawai's got in there, but there's some big tackling led by <laughs> to Mighty Riding Williams. Over the ruck. So Miller, flawless so far. Kicks another penalty. Carried on by Magano again. Now Fakatava looking for quick ball. Oh, it's a penalty advantage. As Ainsley goes close, trying to get his way through was Talia playing under this penalty advantage. They're lining up here. Will he? Held up. Over the advantage. line, but held up. It's Cam Miller slots another three. Tackle, so a penalty. Uh oh, here we go. Number four first. Number four first. Yeah, no arms in the tackle, then in the side. A number of infringements in the same phase down here under pressure. Okay, stop once. Not going too far here. Going to have to release it for Hotham. Away for Havili. And the ball comes loose, but it's OK. Now, here's a real chance for Fihaki. Pops it over. Here's Sebu Reese again. He can't stop scoring. And he's done it again. I certainly has. But he has to compliment the work of Shea Fihaki to put him in the space. And when you give Sebu Reese that much space with the defender trying to scramble to catch him, they won't. The group tried to get over it. Now Bauer. Advantage. Six blue offside. And a penalty advantage coming here as Hotham tries to make some ground. No, no. no advantage yeah, here. If you want it. So, so Fihaki. Jay Fihaki kicks the penalty for Aidan Johnston. Ratu Maitabuki Neepkins, everyone's getting their hands on the ball. And they've got a penalty advantage here. 16. Tava Tava fighting his way, he's going backwards but hanging on. Easy, easy. Yes, if you want it. Yeah. Oh, I love this, Marshy, how yeah, good! Why not, Joey? Why not? Zoo's fizzed up. Look at it. How good. I think the zoo fizzed that, to be honest. The players felt the energy. And there's just too much, too much rivalry here for them not to have a little bit of a set to.
Hits it well. Back to a seven point margin we go with just under seven minutes left. Well, we have been entertained, and for the next seven minutes, that is not going to dissipate. What a stat that is. 19 game losing streak against New Zealand franchises. So Jack Taylor finds his man in the lineout. Got an advantage here, and it's a penalty advantage too. I oh, they'll take the three here. A pressure kick. And it looks good. It is good. I tell you what. Hey, hey, hey. Off, off. At the he has Go nerves back. of steel. Fires it off for Reese. Reese in a bit of space. Now he gets it off the Springer. Five metres out. No. Vantage. Bonus Outside. points. The best they can do, the Crusaders. Little jab through. It's a penalty advantage, and they're going to lose a player to the bin here, the Ten. Islanders. Ten. Cynical. Just no way through at the moment. Drummond again. Leo Willey. Now Drummond pops it out for Springer. A little bit of room on the right-wing side, left-wing side. Take Holding release him up. Release. So he scored a try. You had to release. They had to release him. And they did, and he scored a try, Macca Springer. Wow, the Crusaders. How on earth have they survived this? That's probably a bit of a strange anomaly within the rule that the Highlanders had him caught well short of the line, but because they had to release him, he just flops over. However, that is the law, I guess. But the bigger picture is that the Highlanders have scored a famous victory. They've broken their duck. First win against the New Zealand team for three years and uh, final score here in Dunedin the Highlanders 32 the Crusaders 29